Good morning, good morning. It is Gratitude Monday. I hope you are having a blessed morning this morning. Today I thought I would share about fear. Now, that's an unusual one. I know that most people are not happy or grateful for fear, but I personally am because fear moves me. Now, I recognize that sometimes fear can be paralyzing, but for me, fear moves me. Good morning, Manon. Thanks for tuning in this morning. I appreciate you. And when I talk about fear, I'm talking about healthy fear. There's certainly unhealthy fears out there. For example, if somebody is afraid of uh, germs, Okay, that's a, that's a good one right now with COVID-19. If someone is afraid of germs, but they spend all their day washing their hands, this is an unhealthy fear because they're going to turn their skin raw. If somebody has a healthy fear of germs, they're taking all the precautions. They're wearing a mask when they go out. They're washing their hands after they go to the bathroom, after they touch food, after they um, are out in public. They're wearing masks. They are doing all the things that are necessary. They have hand sanitizer. They're wiping their counters down. They're just taking a lot of caution and precautions, but they're not obsessed with rubbing and scrubbing and washing everything so that they don't get anything else done. That is an obsessive compulsive disorder. And I'm, and I'm certainly, there are people who have that and my heart goes out to you. Um, I'm not talking about that type of fear. Good morning, Kevin. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you. I'm talking about healthy fear that is not paralyzing, but that actually moves you. Here's an example. I do not like to fly. I'm afraid of flying. I actually think I'm afraid of not having the control of being the pilot <laughs> and directing where the plane is going to go, but it's the fear of lack of control maybe, but I'm afraid of, of flying. But do I still fly? Yes. If I, if I can drive there in under eight hours, I'm driving. But if it's over eight hours and 10, it'd be questionable. I would, pr I would probably drive if it was 10, but eight, eight to 10 for sure. If it's over that, I'm going to fly. I mean, I'm, I'm not ridiculous here, but I hate to fly. And the reason I hate to fly is because I've been sick on the plane before. I get vertigo, I have an inner ear disease called BPPV, benign paroxysmal positional vertigo. And if it sets my ear off, like I am down for the count. So it is a healthy fear that I respect what I have to do to be cautious and take precautions when I fly. That means I have to eat certain foods. I can't have a, my stomach all upset. I have to make sure I use some calming essential oils before I get on the flight. And I better take my non-drowsy Dramamine because otherwise I will be messed up with my little bag on the flight. No joke. So I have just inner ear issues that make it, make it just rough. Um, and for most part, my day-to-day, -day, I'm fine. But I am not a good passenger in the car and I don't fly well. It's a motion sickness thing because of my inner ear. So because of that, I am afraid to fly, but I will still fly. I respect the fear and t do what I need to do to prepare myself, but I am thankful when that plane hits the ground. The other type of fear that I have is heights. So I will pass out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding you. If I hike up, at, like I was at Devil's Lake and, um, and that's in Wisconsin. It's kind of near the Dells area, Reedsburg area. I was at Devil's Lake State Park in Wisconsin and we were hiking up and I could see that we were getting, you know, up to 300, 400 feet. I could see the lake and that blue sky, that was turning white. 
my face was, I felt just drained. I could feel sweat beating up all over on my face and like my my heart rate was increasing and, and I was getting short of breath and I was like we got we gotta get down I said to my husband he's like we just started I'm like I gotta get down from here good morning Lynn thanks for tuning in I was like I gotta get down from here this, this is ridiculous I am scared I can see how high we are and I'm going to pass out. Like I literally, there were these rocks. If you've ever been to Devil's, State, uh, Devil's Lake State Park, you know that on the one side of the lake, there's these rocks, but they're like steps. And we were on that side and I sat down like, I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass out and I'm having trouble with my breath and everything like that. And we make it down and, and my husband's like looking at me like, what in the world is wrong with you? <laughs> but I was, a, I was just scared. It was getting higher and higher and I could feel like my body was like physiologically changing. And I didn't know what was going to happen. I just knew that if I passed out and I'm on these rocks and I fall, there are people who die at Devil's Lake State Park because they fall or sometimes they're jumping into the lake and, and they which you shouldn't do but I was just like I was scared I was afraid good morning Glenna thanks for tuning in I appreciate you I hope uh, everything's going well in Cincinnati I have to I have to give a shout out to Glenna because she introduced me to precision neuromuscular therapy which is a medical massage technique and it transformed the way I practice as a physical therapist so thank you so much Glenna Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nice to see you. But anyway, so what I'm saying is fear can be paralyzing. But I am grateful for fear that moves me forward. Think of two times where I was afraid and it moved me forward. One was when I was actually in Cincinnati. And I had this opportunity to move to Wisconsin and grow professionally and go into private practice. I'd worked for a wonderful hospital system. I can't say anything negative about them. They treated me very, very well. Tri Health Physical Therapy, Tri Health Hospital System in Cincinnati. Excellent, excellent place to work. I have no ill will to them. They were wonderful to me. And through them, I actually met Glenna. <laughs> Ironically, I'm talking about that this morning. So I was afraid to move from Cincinnati, Ohio to Kenosha, Wisconsin, but the professional growth that I could have was, it was just too much to pass up. I didn't want to do that. So I, I took that leap. It was a healthy fear that made me move because I could grow. The other time that, again, it's professional, that I had a fear was I was working at a different place than what I moved to Wisconsin for and I was struggling a bit I was a director of a private practice I had a great job I had good people to work with and uh, I was just working a lot of hours I was working 60 something plus hours a week I was seeing over 90 plus visits a week or overseeing them and I had a success problem. I grew this clinic really, really well and really fast, but I wasn't sleeping. I was stressed out. My husband was on second shift. We had to hire a nanny. My kids saw a parent a day, about an hour a day. And I did that for about a year and I was afraid. I was afraid that my health was declining. I was afraid that I was gonna miss out on seeing my kids grow up. I was going to miss out on parenting them and just being a mom. And that fear of my health and not being able to take care of myself, um, I, I had an intestinal cancer scare because of the stress. And that fear moved me because I knew I had to make a change. And I made that change and opened up my own clinic and opened up my own practice.
And now I have two businesses. I have an online practice with telehealth, with online services, and then I have my franchise practice that offer that accepts insurance. It's in office. It also does telehealth. And I have just a great group of people that I've been able to network with. Uh, good morning, Lynn. Lynn, she's, uh, she's part of the WPTA, Wisconsin Physical Therapy Association. She's a great resource and a great colleague. And I just have all of this amazing stuff around me and amazing people around me. And I have been able to influence a lot of patients and get great results for them so that they feel better. But if I wouldn't have taken the leap and had the fear of being where I was and not moving forward, I would never have taken the leap. I would have been paralyzed. I would have been stuck. I would have been doing the same thing over and over again, and I wouldn't have been happy. So fear can be healthy, and I'm so grateful for those two points in my life because fear moved me forward. Are you struggling right now with fear? A lot of people in this COVID-19 thing, you know, they've lost their job, their regular income isn't in, coming in, they're, they're being laid off or their hours significantly reduced, they're maybe questioning, am I doing the right thing? Well, Use that. Are you scared? Are you afraid? Use that. Use that to pivot and move forward with something. Because this is this is just an uncertain time. And that's okay. We can't be in control of everything. Just like I said earlier with the with the airplane. You know, I don't know if I'm more afraid of flying or if I'm more afraid of not being in control of where the airplane's going. <laughs> but Fear can be healthy. How are you going to take something you're afraid of right now and turn it into something amazing? I leave that with you today. Have a blessed day. Be grateful and tell someone that you love them today because they need to hear it. Thank you so much for tuning in this morning. What are you going to do with your fear? I'm going to move forward.